flows. Six is the root of each problem. It will be better to say lack of understanding of six is the root of each problem. Lack of understanding of sex and this energy is the root of each problem. Sex is the very basic problem and all the habits that man has created are basically sex oriented. That is why no society allows total sexual freedom. This is more relevant in the absence of proper understanding. All the cultures that have existed, sophisticated, unsophisticated, Eastern, Western, primitive, civilized, all cultures have tried in some way or the other to control sexual energy of humans. It seems to be the greatest power over men. It seems that if man is allowed total freedom about sex, he will simply destroy himself. There are two approaches to existence, scientific approach and the religious approach, but both have been in the past separate and unbridgeable. The reason was the insistence of the old religions on superstitious superstitions, belief system, denial of inquiry and doubt. In fact, there is nothing unbridgeable between science and religion. And there is no separation either. <laughs> but religion insisted on belief, science cannot accept that. Belief is covering up your ignorance. It never reveals to you the truth. It only gives you certain dogmas, creeds, and you can create an illusion of knowledge through them. But that knowledge is nothing but a delusion. Therefore, anything based on belief is bogus because religions insisted continuously on belief and the basic method of science is doubt and inquiry. Hence, the separation happened and it became unbridgeable. It is unbridgeable unbri because unbridgeable if religions do not arise and face the challenge of doubt. The whole responsibility of the religions has been to keep these two as two separate from one another. Nobody wants truth although everybody goes on seeking it that seeking is indeed a deception, an avoidance. To seek truth means to avoid truth. Truth is there. All you have to do, open your eyes and accept it. It has to be understood how the seeker goes on avoiding truth. To seek means to look far away to seek means to look somewhere else. To seek means to go on a trip. To seek means to postpone. To seek means it will happen tomorrow. Or the day after tomorrow, it is not happening right now. It is not here, it is there. It is not this, it is that. Man goes on living in illusions, but to live in illusions, one needs to avoid truth. Because if truth comes, it will shatter all your illusions and all your so-called life and all your so-called love.
truth looks like a calamity. There have been two very different ways we humans have responded to this. One way has been to make up unbelievable stories, to minimize those fears and give on give us illusions that we know to create the stories to minimize the fear and give us the illusion that we know which eventually reached into what today we would recognize as a different religions. The other approach has been to actually go and look and find out what the fact is, what in fact is going on. What today has become science, one dimension approaches the outside reality the other dimension approaches the inner reality. One is objective, the other is subjective. Their methods are not different. Their conclusions are not different. Both start from doubt. Doubt has been condemned so much that you have forgotten the beauty of it. You have forgotten the richness of doubt, the beauty of doubt. The child is born not with any belief system, but he is born with a very curious, doubting, skeptical consciousness. Doubt is natural and belief is unnatural. Belief is imposed by parents, the society, the educational systems and the religions. All these people are in the service of ignorance and they have served ignorance for thousands of years. They have kept humanity in darkness and there was a reason for it. If humanity is in darkness, knows nothing of reality, then it can be, it can survive. The old religions were not concerned with truth. They talked about it, but their concern was how to keep people away from truth. And up to now, they have succeeded. But now those religions are on their decline, they are on their deathbed and sooner they will die the better. Why do you need a belief in the first place? You don't believe in a rose flower, do you? Nobody asks you do you believe in rose flower? You will simply laugh. You will say, the question of belief does not exist. I know the rose flower. Howard Professor and one of the editors of the a tellingly named report from neurons to neighborhood the science of early childhood development. This was the report. From neurons to neighborhood, the science of early childhood development, the authors put it explicitly, explicitly, the foundation of a successful society rests on the health and competence of its people. It is just common sense to conclude that what, happens, what happens early in the life sets the foundation for everything that follows. It is just common sense 
to conclude that what happens early in the life sets the foundation of everything that follows. What is exciting about the revolution that we are living through right now in biblical, in biological science. What is exactly, what is exciting about revolution is that we are living through right now in biological sciences. Is that we are beginning to understand at the molecular level why that is true. The foundation of everything that follows. If so, then we are really on some on something here. Once we know the root cause of problems, then we have the key of resolving them. And this is the basis of Tantra and this is the basis of all the awakened ones. Once we know the root cause of the problem that you are facing, then we have the key of resolving them. Otherwise, all our efforts at dealing with the troubles of the world will be at best symptom symptomatic and superficial. It will just be symptomatic and superficial. So when I am dealing or working with a particular seeker, I have to watch there is a broad spectrum of the problem which is basically the problem of everyone and then there are certain specific problems relating to that particular person and until and unless this is discovered or known no solution is possible so the sex lack of understanding of sex this existential bioenergy remains as the root cause of almost all the seekers in that come across or they move towards the spiritual path. Once that is understood, then we have to bring back the specific problems relating to that particular seeker. So there is a broad spectrum, then there is a specific. So sex, its lack of understanding and its flow of energy remains the, at the root cause of every problem that we face in life. Enough for now.